Okay, well, good evening, everybody. Um, thank you very much for, for coming. Um, delighted to have so many people here, and I gather a lot of people online as well. So um, we're very pleased that there are people out there watching, uh, and we will encourage you to participate um, and pose questions uh, in the Q&A session. Um, sorry, uh, welcome everybody, just in case that didn't transmit. <laughs> I will do my best to manage all these bits of uh, equipment. Um, <laughs> So thank you very much indeed. Um, I'm uh, Adam Leach, and I'm the chief executive for YCARE uh, International, and delighted to be here. My background is uh, about 30 years or so in international development, uh, working with Oxfam and a range of other organizations uh, around the world. So I'm really delighted to be working with uh, YCARE International uh, as a youth-centered organization, and with, y with you all as people uh, committed to, concerned about, and engaged with. Uh, uh, young people. Now, Why Care International is an organization that has been around for nearly 30 years uh, and is focused on uh, young people changing lives and the needs uh, as well as contribution that they, they have and can make. We work in about 18 countries around the world uh, and we work with uh, local partner organizations, YMCAs, uh, we're part of the Y uh, movement. So uh, this evening, I'm just going to uh, introduce, just to kick off, I think the uh, most important thing I say is that we very much want uh, all of your participation in this. And uh, I, I and the panelists and the, the respondents have uh, agreed to make that as, possi uh, as possible, uh, very much as possible as, uh, as we can. Um, the event has been organized by the Overseas Development Institute, and we're delighted to be here in your, your magnificent new surroundings. Um, and, and with the uh, DFID and Civil Society Organizations Youth Working Group. Now, this is a group of, of 11 organizations, uh, as well as a wider network of about 30 organizations concerned with uh, youth uh, involvement in international development. The uh, Youth Working Group was established in 2007 uh, in partnership with DFID to help uh, put young people at the heart of the development process uh, and development policy. Uh, recognizing their huge potential as partners and leaders, that's young people, uh, as well as their specific needs as, uh, as beneficiaries. Um, so we're delighted to have, uh, and I'd like to give a sort of special welcome to youth participants from a range of organizations uh, who've been involved in this. You're all very welcome. I don't know who you are, but uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll wave and take part, I'm sure. Um, uh, and from across the world. So we've got a very good uh, representation uh, in the room. Um, YCARE International has been an active member of the, the DFID CSO Youth Working Group for a number of years, and we've been both involved in, in the project work and, and happy to be here to help lead the process tonight. So uh, you're all very welcome. Uh, I'm obliged to use a little bit of my time just to tell you some housekeeping points, uh, so I'll do that very swiftly. Um, uh, I need to tell you that the event is on the record, uh, and I'm also asked to point out that there are publications related to the event and ODI's work uh, on the table outside uh, and on the stands in the reception area, so do please help yourselves. Um, some practical things are that if the fire alarm sounds, everyone should make their way out through the doors by the reception, so that way, please. Um, Please turn off all your mobile phones or put them on silent. Um, now, if uh, anybody wants to speak and you're encouraged to do so, please speak into the microphone, as I'm doing. Um, this is really important so that the online audience can, can take part too. Um, I'm asked to tell you that photographs will be taken this evening and may be used in future communications for ODI and the DFID CSO Youth Working Group or by its members in publications on their websites, its website, and or on social media. So, so you know that you're going to be public publicized. Um, and finally, just to welcome everybody to tweet your views on the event at uh, J. Adam Leach, L-E-A-C-H, or at YCARE International, and please use the hashtag uh, hashtag post 2015. So I hope that was all uh, reasonably clear, um, and I'd like to now to move into the into the proceedings for this evening. Um, we're meeting tonight, uh, and with respect to the purpose of this event, um, as the high-level panel uh, are finalising their report, and it will be submitted to the UN 
uh, very shortly. This has been praised as an extremely successful consultation process, and one of the issues that you're going to hear more about is uh, what will happen next. Uh, and to make uh, the contribution, tonight we're launching two complementary reports, two extremely good documents, uh, looking uh, at young people and the international development policy uh, process and agenda in the post-2015 context. So the first report uh, that we're going to launch is Investing in Youth in International Development Policy, Making the Case. Um, this has been drafted by ODI on behalf of the working group. Uh, and a, in a process led by YCARE International and brings together uh, evidence and recommendations. And I strongly commend uh, you to, to look at that, um, both uh, um, after the event, if you haven't already done so um, beforehand. The second report that we're going to launch is, um, is called uh, Youth Voices uh, on a Post-2015 World. Um, somebody will help me flag it. I think that's, it's this one. Um, and the first one is this document. Um, and the, the, the second report, the Youth Voices on a Post-2015 World, um, describes the, the results of the youth consultations uh, that were run in 12 countries uh, globally to help understand young people's views uh, on what should come after the Millennium Development Goals. Now, this has been led by uh, Restless Development on behalf of the working group uh, and working with 14 youth-led and youth-focused partners to hear what young people want uh, from a new development framework. So I think we have uh, an extremely interesting lineup of, uh, of, of presentations. Um, that's going to be followed by uh, three expert respondents. Uh, Neva, um, um, who I'll introduce in a moment, <laughs> uh, Millicent from Kenya, and Ricardo, uh, who's come down from, from Oxfam. So, um, I think without uh, any more ado, I'd like to uh, introduce Paula Perez Nieto uh, to speak first on the, on, on the, the main report um, tonight, uh, the first report, um, <coughs> Investing in, in Young People. Thank I should you. just uh, introduce Paula very briefly, sorry, just to say that um, Paula is a research fellow um, in the social development program here at ODI uh, and has worked on a range of issues including social protection, uh, uh, social exclusion, child youth and gender sensitive social policy and a range of other things and is uh, um, working on, on work relating to youth vulnerabilities uh, in the context of the financial uh, and economic crisis as well as climate change. So we're extremely pleased to have you speak first. Thank you. Thank Adam. you. 